Drawings often include notations such as 50 G6 or 17.5 AG11 G7 to specify tolerances. These are called engineering fits and tolerances and are listed in long and confusing charts. Hello everybody, Erez here from the Machining Doctor website. In this video, we will explore the key terms related to fits and tolerances. By the end of the video, you will have a solid understanding of how to read these long and confusing charts. There is an easier option if you don't have time to study all of this. Head over to the Machining Doctor's online calculator which will do all the hard work for you. But now, without further ado, let's join Eric in the classroom and start the lesson. Thank you, Erez. In today's video, we will cover the following topics. The relevant ISO standards. Tolerance and deviation terms. Fit terms. How to read the tolerances charts and the online fits and tolerances calculator. The most commonly used tolerancing system for shafts and holes is detailed in the ISO 286-1 and –2 standards. ISO 286-1 charts the fundamental deviations such as G, J, and K and tolerance grades such as 7, 8, and 9 in separate tables. However, calculations are needed to obtain the limits depending on the required tolerance class, basic size, and feature type. ISO 286-2 is a collection of dozens of charts that tabulate the size limits for the commonly used tolerance grades per basic sizes. It is based on ISO 286-1. If the tolerance grade you need is listed, you will need fewer calculations to obtain the final results. As we said before, you can skip all this hassle and go directly to the fits and tolerances calculator on the Machining Doctor website. Check out the links in the description and in the first comment. Understanding the fundamental terms is the foundation for correctly interpreting fits and tolerance charts. So, Let's start going over them, one by one. The nominal size, also called basic dimension, is the dimension by which a feature is identified for convenience. It's also the starting point from which the limits are derived by applying data obtained from the charts. For example, a square shank of a cutting tool whose actual height is between 24.8 and 24.9 millimeters would be known as a 25 mm shank since its basic size is 25 mm. Each feature is either a shaft or a bore. Shaft refers to an external feature of a workpiece, typically cylindrical in shape. However, the term can be used to describe any external feature. For example, a block that has to fit into a keyway or the square shank of a cutting tool are also referred to as shafts. A hole refers to an internal feature of a workpiece, typically a bore. However, the term can be used to describe any internal feature. Next, we have the limits of size. The limits are the basic size permissible upper and lower limits. For example, if the lower limit of a hole is 25.05 mm and the upper limit of the same hole is 25.15 mm, then a hole that is 25.1 mm in diameter is within limits and is acceptable. These limits are calculated based on the deviation and the tolerance grade. Moving on, let's talk about the fundamental deviation. The fundamental deviation is the position of the tolerance zone in relation to the zero line. A one or two character letter code is used to indicate it. Capital letters are used for holes. Small letters are used to denote shafts. Now, let's discuss what are upper and lower deviations. The algebraic difference between the upper limit and the basic size is called the upper deviation and the algebraic difference 
to the lower limit is called the lower deviation. The configurations may be confusing and depend on whether the feature is external or internal and if the deviation is negative, positive, or zero. The details are outside the scope of the video. If you want to delve deeper, explore the explanations on the Machining Doctor website, check out the link in the description or in the first comment. Sorry to interrupt, but I have a tiny favor to ask. Do you appreciate what we are doing for you here on the Machining Doctor? Well, now it's your time to give something back. Give us a like or leave a comment. These small actions really help to push the videos to even more people. Thank you. Moving on, the tolerance grade is the difference between the limits of size. That is, the upper limit minus the lower limit. Hence, it determines the accuracy of a feature. ISO 281-1 lists 18 standard tolerance grades, denoted as IT1 to IT18. IT1 is the smallest, most accurate, and IT18 is the largest. Next, the tolerance class is the term used to combine a fundamental deviation with a standard tolerance grade. For example, H9 or D13. The deviation, denoted with the letter, defines the nominal distance from the basic size, and the number defines the accuracy. All the above together leads us to what we see on the drawings, which is the tolerance size. It combines the basic size with the tolerance class. It is designated by the basic size, followed by the tolerance class, without spaces. For example, 32H7 specifies a hole with a nominal size of 32 mm, deviation H, and tolerance grade, IT7. 25G5 specifies a shaft with a nominal size of 25 mm, deviation G, and tolerance grade of IT5. Now, let's talk about engineering fits. Engineering fit refers to the degree of tightness or looseness between two mating parts in an assembly. It's defined by combining a hole with a tolerance class and a shaft with a tolerance class. A fit is denoted with the basic size followed by the bore and shaft tolerance classes. For example, 25H7-G6 means an assembly of two features with a nominal size of 25 mm, where the shaft has a tolerance class G6 and the hole has a tolerance class H7. Finally, let's discuss the main fit types. A clearance fit is a type in which the shaft is smaller than the hole it is inserted into, allowing for free movement, assembly, and disassembly. A transition fit is a type in which the shaft may be slightly smaller or larger than the hole before assembly. It is used to create a tight and secure connection between them in applications requiring high precision and stability. A press or interference fit is a type of fit in which the shaft is larger than the hole before assembly, creating a tight and secure connection between the two parts. Before we wrap it up, let's see a practical example of using the ISO charts. Suppose we have a call on a drawing for a square shank with the notation 25G6. We open ISO 281-1 and scroll down to Table 1 that lists the values of standard tolerance grades per nominal sizes. We have to find the row for our basic size of 25 mm and the column for our tolerance grade which is IT6. As you can see, the tolerance value in this case is 13 microns. Next, we scroll down to table 4 which lists the values of the fundamental deviations for shafts. Again, we find the row for 25 mm and the column for the deviation G, which yields minus 7 microns. The upper limit is calculated by 25 minus 0 0.007 equals 24.993 millimeters, and the lower limit 
is the upper limit, minus the tolerance, hence, 24.993, minus 0 0.013, equals 24.98. The calculation is tricky, since it depends on the configuration of the element. Using ISO 286-2 is easier. Here, you can get a near final result, if you scroll down to table 21, which lists the limits, specifically for shafts with deviation G. The upper limit is minus 7 microns, and the lower limit is minus 20. Take into account that not all the possible combinations are listed. However, the best way is to head over to the fits and tolerances calculator on the Machining Doctor website. Choose if it is a shaft or a hole. Enter your basic size. Select the deviation. And choose the tolerance grade. The calculator will show you the maximum and minimum permissible values, and also draw the results on a bar chart. Now, let's go back to Ares for a brief summary. That's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I answer each comment personally. Bye, and see you on the next video.